in Phoenix with even more on this sun's fever. Claudia? Yeah, you know, a lot of people probably recognize this mural behind me here. Of course, it's of the legend Prince here on 15th Avenue and Roosevelt Street. But what most of you probably don't know is that the artist behind this mural first did work on city buses. And in 1993, she was asked to paint some of the Suns players. Of course, it's a season and a team many Suns fans remember. I usually call it my 15 minutes of fame. And it was very exciting, you know, when I'd see a bus of mine go by. There's my bus. It was so much fun. Maggie Keene started off painting billboard ads around the valley. In 1993, she was hired to paint Suns players on several Phoenix City buses to celebrate the team's 25th anniversary. The Charles Barkley bus was the first one I painted. She said it took about three weeks. It was her first time using an airbrush. Traced it in. We had to tape everything off that wasn't going to get painted. Um, including the windows, and then that film went over it, and then uh, just worked off a photograph from there. She also painted players Dan Marley, Tom Chambers, and part of Kevin Johnson. The Suns that year won the Western Conference Finals. It really was very exciting. It was like uh, something that it drew the whole town together. Barkley and the team lost to the Bulls in the finals, but Suns fever didn't go away. Keen says she's happy to see the team bounce back after all these years. It's been really fun to see that they're doing so well. And a little fun fact, the company that invented the window film that uh, went on those buses that she painted back in the day held an international competition at the time, and it was Maggie's uh, uh, Barkley bus that actually won that entire competition first place. So clearly a very talented artist. Reporting live in Phoenix tonight, I'm Claudia Rupsich, ABC 15 Arizona.